Welcome to Pep Talk with Dan and Nat. Today we're going to be talking about um, how to be an artist. We have a couple of parts in this series and we're going to be talking about different angles of what that means and how that can help you out. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about why you need an artistic community as an artist and how to find one that works for you. I mean, it's really easy to become isolated. As I mean, specifically, I think we're talking as writers, mm -hmm. in my case, also as a performer. Um, it can be really isolating to just sit at home and write things without getting out and interacting with other folks in your community. But I think that's our first response as artists is, first of all, I mean, we feel like we have a unique perspective and, and that's why we, that's the drive to create, that's the drive to express ourselves. And so sometimes we think that because of that, you know, no one can relate to us. And it's better off if we just stick to ourselves and don't involve anyone else in our inner drama. I found this happened a little bit when Natana and I were both studying English. Mm -hmm. Is like the bookworms all kind of hide and don't get out and hang out with each other. And sometimes it's important to interact with some bookworms. Sometimes it's important to hang out and interact with some other writers. And you yeah. get, meet great people, make new friends, and learn more about yourself and how you create. But um, talking about finding that community, how do you reach out? How do you how do you make it work scary. where you are? Yeah, and really so daunting. Scary. Yeah, and I think and some of us don't live in bustling metropolises where you know there is a tangible community that we can latch onto that is applicable to our situation. So in my case, um, like I live in a rural setting right now. And so the internet has been huge for me. Um, just in the fall, I started my writing blog and just doing that every day. And, and I do that on Tumblr, which really works for me. Um, just, it's really simple to find other, not just writers, also like artists, like I'm talking about painters or drawers or whatever, people who do collages, people who journal, like all these things that are so interesting to me and all feed into each other and all can be inspiring. And, it has become a really great little community of supporting each other and and learning from each other. And a great way to get your work out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's neat. Like, there's different groups. One of them that comes to mind is Hit Record, mm -hmm. which is a great mm -hmm. kind of website community organized to help collaborate between many disciplines. And yeah. I think that that's something we don't do enough of, and mm -hmm. I'm really excited that that's starting to shape, take shape on the internet. Yeah, don't be afraid to become friends with people who do different kinds of art than you do. I myself have been really um, lucky to have benefited from having physical, in-people communities <laughs> that I can connect with. I meet every week with a spoken word community called Tonight It's Poetry. Most cities um, and major centers have poetry communities that are meeting at least once a month. Often they're connected to a poetry slam, but I know for us we only have a poetry slam or competition once a month. The rest of it is just open mics. It's just a place to share your words and get to know um, other people that are into the same thing you're into. I was so scared to start attending by myself. I used to go every week with a friend and that was my security blanket. And then we were hosting a national festival and they had a call for volunteers. And I really wanted to do that because I thought it would be a really good excuse to meet a lot of these people that I wanted to know and that I was a little bit intimidated by. Um, but my friend wasn't able to sign up with me to volunteer. So I just pulled up my bootstraps and signed up anyway. And it was the best decision I could have ever made. Now I'm one of the organizers and it's either my people, I'm so involved and it's, I would not have it any other way. Yeah. And I mean, I think that's the commonality, no matter how you reach out, it's always going to be scary. Yeah. Like go, doing my blog every other day or however often I do it, it is scary to put yourself out there. It's always scary to put yourself out there yeah. and let people in, but it's so valuable. And, and so, so many rewarding. rewards come yeah. from that risk. Yeah. I know there's like the old adage that's so overused, no risk, no reward, but it's kind of true, especially in these situations. You, you can't, a community won't find you. Yeah. You have to go out and find that community and you have to, however that looks or, or whatever that iteration turns into for you, it doesn't have to be face-to-face -face contact if that gives you a lot of anxiety or if that's not like a, in a physical location that you're able to access. There's so many options. Thank goodness for the internet. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, we believe in us. We believe in you. Keep okay. on pepping the pep. Talking the talk. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. folks.